So on days where the dew point is really high, I try to prepare my um, hair by using um, like special products. So that's what I did yesterday because it was my daughter's graduation and she had an outdoor graduation. The dew point was 70, which is the high range. That means that there is lots of moisture in the air and your hair is going to respond. Um, and it was really hot. It was like 90 degrees. So it was a really bad day <laughs> to be sitting in the sun for several hours. Um, so what I did was I used um, one of my high dew boos, <laughs> which is the Eco Styler gel. Uh, for those of you who have seen my uh, which gels do it best in high dews, you know that this is one of the gels I highly recommend. I love it, love it, love it. Um, what I did yesterday morning was I washed my hair, um, I used a Lucent and I used that as my leave-in conditioner and then I sectioned my hair into probably four sections and then I worked the Eco Styler gel throughout my hair. My hair was not hard. Eco Styler gel with argan oil does not give me crunchy hair. Uh, different story with the olive oil, but this one does not give me crunchy hair, and that's one of the reasons I love it. So I worked it through the hair. I let it air dry. I diffused it a little bit, but mostly let it hair dry, and then I styled, and this is what my hair looked like. So to do this process, all I use are a couple of hair ties and my water bottle. That's it, okay? I'm not gonna add any more gel to my hair. If I felt like my hair needed it, then I would add a little bit more of the Eco Styler gel, but I don't think I'll be doing it today because I like the amount of texture that I still have um, in my hair today. I just want it to be a little bit bigger um, because it did kind of draw up a little bit. So the first thing I would do is just kind of look through my hair. I kind of missed in the air actually. You guys who've watched my older videos, you know I used to have that um, yellow, orangish uh, bottle that gave the fine, fine mist, and I have just worn that out. <laughs> it doesn't even work anymore, so I don't want to spray this directly on my hair because I don't want to saturate my hair. I just want to lightly mist it. So I'm just going to spray in the air lightly around my head and let the water fall where it will. All right, and then I just kind of look for sections of hair that um, maybe are no longer clumped or maybe it is a little bit frizzy. And I will just put a little bit of water on that section and then I will just smooth it like that. The gel works so well that I really don't have very many sections that I will do this to. But that's pretty much what I do. I just kind of scan for sections where um, it looks frizzy um, <clears throat> or it's no longer clumped and I want it to clump or something like that. You know, I'll just scan for those sections and do this process. Um, while you're waiting for the hair to dry, I will just actually pineapple this. So because I have fine hair, and those of you who have fine hair, you know the, you know, the blues, and that the struggle is real for us with fine hair, I'm just gonna do two loose pineapples up here, and I'll do one on the other side. I could also just do one on top of the head, but today I just feel like I'm gonna do two. All right, so I'm just going to put these up here and I'm going to just leave them for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. I'll probably get dressed and then I'll come back and um, I will take it down so you can see the results. Okay, so I am back and I'm going to take my mini pineapples out. Now, um, if you have thicker hair, you may want to leave your hair pineappled for, you know, like um, five minutes longer. So for instance, I have left mine pineappled for about 10 minutes. So you may want to do like 15 minutes. If you have um, high, you know, uh, density hair, you know, you have a lot of strands of hair per square inch on your head, like my daughter does, a lot of hair. <laughs> Um, or if you have um, thicker, you know, uh, strands that take a little longer to dry, you may want to just give it a little extra time to kind of stretch. 
And I'm going to go ahead and just pull these out now and just kind of shake. And as you can see, it's a bit fuller now. I didn't pull the, these bottom, the bottom uh, pieces into the pineapple because um, it would have not been the shape I wanted. So uh, in case you were wondering, I'll probably get a question about like, why didn't I, why didn't I pull those pieces in? And that's pretty much why. Okay, so that's the process from beginning to end. It's really that simple. This works get, uh, great for fine-haired girls, but it also works for those of you who have denser hair or who have thicker strands of hair as well. I hope this was helpful. Um, oh, just one other tip. If you want it to just, you know, really kind of throw it out even more, you could just use a pick and just kind of even, you know, work with the volume you know you've created <laughs> in terms of or that um, the humidity has created and just make the hair kind of bigger so it's really up to you and you know it depends on you know what look you're going for um, you know for the day because if the reality is if it's still high dues on second day third day etc you'll be able to start this process all over again and really get different looks on different days so you could you know pick it out one day and then the next day you know go in add little water to areas where you feel need more definition and then in pineapple and then start the process all over again and do maybe a more shrunken look it's up to you but um but that's pretty much it i hope you guys like the video um do you have a secret process you use for uh, managing your hair on second and third day um, in high do's I would love to know what you guys are doing um, as you can see we have another high do day here it's about to start raining pretty soon again uh, so I'm going to wear this and look forward to doing something different with it tomorrow all right I'll see you guys later bye